I'm Dennis Pollard, President of Community Memorial Hospital. July 1st, 1964 was an important day in Menominee Falls, the day the community celebrated the opening of the hospital they worked so hard to see built. From the very beginning, this was a community project. From the initial discussions to the door-to-door -door fundraising that was done, the people of Menominee Falls worked together to fulfill a need in their community. Now, 50 years later, we are proud to continue that legacy of providing exceptional health care to our community on a daily basis. In 2009, a group of people who were key in the beginnings of Community Memorial Hospital sat down with Jim Jeskowitz to record a program called I Remember Menominee Falls for the local cable access station. They included Lou Teets, Darlene Eisen, Pam Parker, Dr. Phil Doherty, and Dr. Don Hireman. The following is just a little of our history as told by this extraordinary group of people. is community memorial because there certainly was a, a community project. Yeah. Yeah. To start a campaign, uh, really to start a hospital, one of the big factors is where's the money coming from? You've got to have some seed money. Well, they found out there was some money available from the federal government if you work the right levers. But we've got to get the population involved and so there was a cadre of people recruited to go out and sell stock and the corporation actually started as a stock corporation. I owned one share. Uh, many people would buy one share or two shares, it was $300 a share. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> that helped to raise some seed money, which was the benchmark for applying for grants and so forth. Did they think, how much did they have to, to raise to get started? There was a goal, was it 600? Well, it was 600. 500,000, first of all. Well, I thought it was 650, <laughs> but that, that might was be the amount that yeah. way. Yeah. Okay. The second one was, yeah, that's the second phase rate, which was only two Thank years you. later. Yeah. yeah, that's what we needed. To 500 get. grand, and we raised 671,000. Right, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. exactly. Okay, so we've got some money. We needed a spot. And there were apparently three different places in Menominee Falls that they were looking at mm -hmm. as sites for the hospital as we understand it. Isn't that right, Lou? Yes. And so I understand that one was um, where those apartments are on Town Hall Road right, mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. now. Village and Road the Road other Road. Yeah. was uh, the, y the YMCA, YMCA site, site. And then of course, where we are currently at the <coughs> top of the hill. Mm -hmm. So I think you guys all got your heads together or <laughs> whoever was involved at that moment and said that they talked to George Schilling and for $2,000 an acre, they bought 34 acres on the top of the hill. Of the and hill. so that yep. was the beginning of the hospital. And that was done in, I think, 1960. All right, so now we're into the 60s, and uh, we started the building. Uh, construction began in 62. In 62, right? correct. And uh, took a couple of years, and uh, the opening date was uh, April 6th. No, July 1st. July 1st, okay. Right. Mm -hmm. July April 64. must have been when they started. When they started the uh, ground Maybe April of 63. Yeah, yeah. about a year ago. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Um, and uh, the first uh, administrator was? Mark Kibitz was our first administrator, and he joined us, joined the hospital staff in the spring of 1963, prior to the, you know, the year before the opening of it, yeah. actually. Once open, the hospital grew and expanded quickly. It was evident that there was a real need in the community and every effort was made to offer the services that were required to meet that need. It was through these efforts that the hospital made its mark as a leader in local health care. Well, it, during the 60s then, it, it really boomed. Um, and even opening in 64, what, within a year or two? By 66, we were already uh, nearing 100% occupancy. In fact, I believe it was in 66 that we were uh, targeting 106% occupancy at that point, which is really full. You know, it, <laughs> yeah, it is. And what we did you know, to accommodate really was to, we had, most of our rooms were semi-private, two patients per room. We had one private room. 
and we would put three patients in a double room and two in the private room. And we had one sun room that suddenly became another patient room for three beds. And so that's how we were able to accommodate. But it sure. was very, very full sure. and certainly a good response from the community. So it wasn't real hard for us to be able to uh, convince our board mm -hmm. that perhaps uh, we need to be need looking forward room. to yeah, the, yeah. the first expansion. It was interesting that, that they said in 1970 when, when the new addition went on, you went from 6,500 square feet to 40,000 <laughs> square right. feet. Exactly, of <clears throat> usable space. Of usable at that space, time. yeah. Correct. yeah. Mm -hmm. Some really important things about the growth of our hospital that were important to us in. Um, maintaining some of the firsts in the area. Because of the overcrowding is probably why we did some of the firsts. On the other hand, we were also rather creative in some of our approaches, but we had one of the, we had the first day surgery, organized day surgery program in the city or the greater Milwaukee area out at CMH. And it was because we felt in working obviously closely with the physicians and the surgeons that indeed there are patients who could come in in the morning, be cared for carefully sure. and safely and go home by the end of the day. And so we did organize programs of that nature. With all the changes through the years, Community Memorial Hospital was always known for having a consistent, caring staff. I believe this was also due in large part to the fact that this is a community hospital. When you talk to people, they say, well, I used to work at the hospital, or my mother or somebody right. in the sure. family worked there. Mm -hmm. So it seems almost everybody in Menominee Falls has right. worked at the hospital at yeah. one time or another. Remember we had a plaque in the front of the hospital that was the quote from Dr. Doman, uh, who was at least the honorary first chief of staff of the mm -hmm. hospital, although he had already retired by that time, and he said, the hospital is the fulfillment of a cherished dream. It will <clears throat> give the medical fraternity an opportunity to render more efficient service to the community. The medical staff wishes to thank all of the people who have helped make this institution a reality. But I think that it was he who indeed had that you know, foresight, as well as a number of others as well, that a hospital was needed in the community and we needed to make it happen. From the grassroots beginnings in 1964 to today, Community Memorial Hospital has gone through many changes. We started with 61 beds, a team of 16 physicians, and a staff of 70. Today we offer 202 beds. We have a medical staff of over 600 physicians and more than 1,300 staff. We are part of Freydert and the Medical College of Wisconsin, a strong, growing network that is committed to providing exceptional care to every patient we see. We know that the future will bring change, but we see change as a positive and as an opportunity to excel at what we do. For today, we will look to the future and honor our past. Congratulations to Community Memorial's employees, medical staff, volunteers, and board of directors who have assisted in achieving this milestone. 50 years of developing services and a facility to meet health care needs of our community. Community Memorial Hospital exceeds the imagination of the dream of our founders. Congratulations Community Memorial Hospital on celebrating 50 years of caring. Happy Anniversary Community Memorial Hospital. Congratulations Community Memorial Hospital. Congratulations on 50 years of caring. Congratulations Community Memorial Hospital. Thank you to everyone who has been a part of 50 years of caring. Thank you.